Well, first of all, I, I should say I, I chaired an international advisory committee for, for uh, the premier on how to improve education in China. Um, and one interesting thing is we were told our report could be at most one page. And, um, well, if you gave the premier a 30-page document, it would simply not get read. Right. I mean, he has so many things on his plate, it's, it's incredible. Um, and also, it forced us to think, what is the one message we ought to give him? Uh, because this was the whole range of education, elementary school, high school, college, adult education. And we've, we focused on undergraduate education. And a lot of people have criticized me saying, why didn't you consider PhD education? And I don't think you can solve the PhD problem until you improve the undergraduates and they'll go on to have better graduate students. Um, but the, the, the thing that's causing the problem, well, first maybe I should tell you a little bit about the size. Uh, 20 years ago, parents thought that their children had to get a degree to get a good job. And the number of students going to college has been increasing one million per year. And one of China's highest priorities is stability of the country. And so they thought they had to meet the capacity demand. And I think they made the right decision. Uh, but this means they had to build about 50 universities per year. Uh, they have to build dormitory space for a million students, uh, classrooms, uh, eat eating facilities, and so on. Um, but also, their university presidents are government employees, and they have a five-year term, and uh, the government will then assign them a new job. And they want a better job. They want to move up to be maybe mayor of Beijing or uh, minister of education or something. And so what they do is they try to increase the international ranking, because this will show up what they did, which is good. But the international rankings are based on research funding and number of papers published. And there's a basically no reward structure for good teaching. So our recommendation was to change the metrics by which university presidents are evaluated. Um, and the premier took our report and gave it to the Minister of Education and said implement it. But it didn't get implemented very well. Uh, so our backup plan, we started to do the evaluation ourselves. And I now have permission to evaluate undergraduate teaching in computer science at the top 50 universities in China. And we've got a number of faculty who are good teachers and care about teaching. And we're shipping them to university to sit in on a lecture of a course and look at uh, how much does the faculty, how comfortable is the faculty member, is he engaging the students, what fraction of the students are listening. Um, so, uh, and then uh, what we're going to do is rank universities based on the quality of undergraduate teaching. And the, I've talked to a number of presidents and they're really talented and very capable people. And I think once they know their next job is going to depend on uh, the quality of the, how much they improve undergraduate education, it will make a fundamental change.